Animal Crossing New Horizons was such an amazing game on the Switch, but unfortunately Nintendo just totally dropped the game. They stopped updating it, which is wild in my opinion because I think this is one of the top selling games on the Nintendo Switch. Like I think it's sold somewhere in the realm of like 50 million units, which is absurd. So it's really weird why they decided to stop updating it. My theory is that they're saving a lot of things for the next Animal Crossing game, which is kind of what I want to talk about in this video, because there are definitely some features and different things that I love to see in whatever the next Animal Crossing main series game is. Also quickly guys, once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a $20 eShop gift card that you can use on your Nintendo Switch. So all you have to do to enter is subscribe, comment down below, letting me know that you did that and like the video. I'd assume that the next Animal Crossing game is going to come out on the next Nintendo console, which everyone knows like a lot of things have been rumored recently about the switch 2 i don't think it's going to be called the switch 2 it's probably going to be called something new like a brand new name for it because if it's called the switch 2 it'll just be too confusing but anyways so it'll probably come on the next console which would probably be within the next few years so i think we could safely say the next animal crossing game won't be coming around for at least like four years probably okay so here's the biggest issue that i have with animal crossing new horizons is the amount of fish why did we not receive more fish or like more insects or stuff like that like more fossils because fishing was my favorite thing to do in this game i loved catching a brand new fish and then going over to the aquarium and seeing the fish swim around in whatever tank it was put in like the aquarium is like one of the coolest things about this game and fishing was so fun fishing was so addicting like the feeling of catching like a shark or a whale shark or whatever was just like like nothing else especially when quarantine was happening and this is all we had to play like animal crossing release at the perfect time and it was just such a fun game to play but i unlocked all of the fish really quickly and i'm pretty sure most people did too like it's not difficult to complete all of the fish in the game i don't exactly know how many fish actually are in the game but i wish we would have received a dlc or an update to get new fish literally even like five new fish so i hope with the next animal crossing game that we either get a huge amount of fish a DLC that includes more fish, or maybe just an update that adds fish for free, which I think would be a selling point, as well as, I guess you could include, like, insects and fossils and stuff like that. I know that they later on added, like, the sea creature stuff, which was really cool. I did enjoy the sea creature stuff, which I actually don't have all of those yet. I, I need to grind those out. I only have, like, four or five left, but that was cool and all, but the fish hit different, for sure. Another major thing I would love to see in the next Animal Crossing game is more improved multiplayer slash like online features because Animal Crossing, you know, we had online stuff where we could go to other people's islands like our friends or they could come to our islands, but sitting in that loading screen was just awful. You had to pause what you're doing in the game for like three minutes while the loading screen happened. So either I'd like if we could just not have that stupid loading screen while someone else is coming to our island or maybe just like no loading screen at all like i don't really know why it took so long it doesn't really make sense but nintendo is always a few years behind with their online features so it's not a big deal so just a better process for when people visit your island or when you visit someone else's island would be great i think other like different communication uh features would be great or maybe like larger groups in one place something that i personally think that would be really cool is like a online hub area so let's just say in the next animal crossing game there is a huge online like lobby hub area where you fly to or drive to and basically you can see a bunch of other online players running around but basically it's just like a big shopping center essentially where you can like trade buy new items buy specific items that you can only buy there or maybe like buy other properties or something i think that'd be pretty cool i'd love to see something where we can actually see other online players just randomly not of course just randomly on our island necessarily but more so as in like a special specific hub area where we all go to shop and everything just how like in real life everyone goes to target or whatever something similar to that hope that makes sense i'd also like to see some more seasonal events new horizons did have some seasonal events which were pretty cool i'd like to see more personally and also something weirdly cool that i saw online is like hobbies like what if we had like hobbies in the game like rc cars or like planes or rc boats or something just random little hobbies that we can do in the game I feel like that would be pretty cool, like maybe even like metal detecting. Actually, that would be really sick. I hope we can metal detect. Like, why can't we metal detect on the beach? I feel like that would be a really awesome thing to do, and it kind of fits the vibe perfectly of Animal Crossing New Horizons, more so than like a city Animal Crossing game, just because we're on the beach and everything, but I'm going to add metal detecting to my list now. I didn't have that written down, but... So as far as like our island or town, because 
I don't really know what the next Animal Crossing game is going to be, if it's going to be in a town or an island. A lot of people prefer the games to be in a town more so than the island. Personally, I don't really care either way. I enjoyed the island, and I also enjoy when they're on a, when they're actually in like a town or, you know, not in, on an island, whatever. But I'd like to see more buildings with more options of places to shop at within our own village, I'll, I'll just call it. Like maybe a place where you can customize furniture, where like you can make your own specific furniture or maybe you could buy like a plane or buy a car to drive to a friend's house or fly to, I don't know, somewhere. Just like more buildings other than just Nook's Cranny, the clothing shop, which I forgot the name of, and like the museum. Like we only had a few buildings. I think it'd be cool to get more. Um, or maybe like upgrades for these current buildings. That would be pretty cool too. Like to make it a two-story or expand it wider or something. I just think more diversity with the buildings would be great. So the next issue is definitely small, but I would really love if we could change our hemisphere because I chose the Southern Hemisphere and guess what? I don't live in the Southern Hemisphere. So ever since 2020 when Animal Crossing New Horizons came out, my seasons have been backwards because I live in the Northern Hemisphere. So every time in the Northern Hemisphere, it's summertime, it's wintertime on my island, which is so annoying because... For whatever reason in New Horizons you can't change your hemisphere and I'm sure I'm not the only person that has done this. I'm sure there are other, I'm sure other people out there have also chosen the wrong hemisphere and their seasons are backwards so it's kind of annoying. It's not a big deal but my switch the time and the date is literally completely opposite at all times because whenever I hop on the game I don't want it to be the opposite season. I'd like to look outside my window in real life and look in the game and have it be the same you know weather basically. It's a small thing, but it's just an option that would be great. Let me know if you have done this too, because I've been upset about it ever since I uh, chose Southern Hemisphere. I think it would be great for Nook's Cranny to offer like more items to purchase. Like I said earlier, like maybe an upgrade to Nook's Cranny to where you can have more items be available in the shop at one day. So that would be pretty neat. And also like a built-in marketplace where you can buy secondhand items in the game would be so awesome. Just think of it more as like an eBay in Animal Crossing where, where, you know, like let's say I don't like this stone bath thing that I have in the game. Let's say I don't want any more, so I list it on the marketplace. And with the marketplace, products are valued at whatever the current market value is, I guess. So like let's say I bought it for 15,000 bells at Nook's Cranny. Maybe it's a limited item that doesn't always show up in the shop. So that item could possibly in the market be worth 30,000 bells. So I would double my money, sell it to somebody else that really wants it. Or on the other hand, maybe I don't want this item and I bought it for 15,000 and maybe it's not worth 15,000 anymore. So the max I could get it, so the max I can get out of it in the market would be like 5,000 bells. I think that'd be a really interesting and cool way to be able to get some of these obscure, unique items that aren't very common. Going alongside that, it'd be kind of cool to have like a trading feature where you can just straight up trade an item with somebody. Um, you know, you can do that now, but it's like it's complicated because you have to like have them fly to your island Then you drop the item whatever I'm talking more about like like a legitimate trading system within the game that's built in I want to bring this up because I don't really have an opinion on this But I'm more curious to see what you guys think I know a lot of people want the series to go back to its roots where you're just a person living in a village and you have to pay off your house like a mortgage and you have these jobs you have to complete and everything I don't really have a specific answer as to like what I would want let me know what you guys would think. Like, do you guys like how Animal Crossing New Horizons is or like a previous Animal Crossing game where you're living in a town and you have to pay off your house and everything? I also think like little assignments to assign your villagers to do would be pretty neat. Like having somebody pick weeds for, you know, 2,000 bells because in Animal Crossing New Horizons, getting your weeds removed is stupid expensive. Anyways, that's besides the point. But like maybe you can ask your villager to gather some materials like different wood or pebbles or whatever you need. And also a lot of people want new and more clothing. Like they want way more clothing, but I personally think we have a solid selection of clothing in New Horizons. Like we have, I think there's like thousands of different clothing items. The only thing that I could really say about that would be like maybe more specific outfits to wear that are like related to like the Nintendo IPs, like more Mario and Zelda outfits and stuff like that. But you know, I think we're kind of fine with that. And the final thing is just the ease and accessibility to like design your island because designing and moving things around your island is a straight up hassle to move a building you have to open up a space you have to like 
move the building to that space. You have to skip a day or wait a day for it to be actually built. And then it's, it's a whole process. It takes so long to move buildings to like terraform, whatever it's called. It takes forever. So I think just a, an easier process to do that would be way better because it's definitely deterred me from redesigning my island because I'm just like, I don't even know where to put this building in the first place. Cause you have to put the building out of the way and then make a new place for it specifically. It's just so complicated. I wish it wasn't. So I'd like that to be changed. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.